Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here we have the oldest and thickest chestnut tree in all of Germany. Uh, sorry for the noise. I'm here in the little town of Tannenfels in the region of Rhineland Palatinate in Germany. And yeah, this chestnut which is about 3 meters thick or about 10 feet thick, yeah, is by far the oldest and thickest chestnut in Germany. There are no other contestants for the title. However, for the last 60 years, this chestnut was, well, it is obviously not in the best condition, but for the last 60 years, actually, people thought that it would die basically the next day. Like, every book I've read about uh, this tree, or where this tree was mentioned, it says, don't go and visit this tree because it's basically dying. And the oldest such book, the book from the 60s, it says, well, we include this tree because it's by far the biggest and thickest chestnut in Germany, but by the time this book is published, by 1968, it will be dead for sure. Well, people have been believing this tree to be basically dead for over 60 years now. And yeah, most of the tree is dead. There is just one branch remaining and this branch yeah, the tree has been basically dead for so long that this branch has kind of separated, actually. Originally, this branch originated from much higher and not from <clears throat> and not from so low, but then it's kind of, yeah, it kind of separated from the dead stem and basically created its own stem here. The tree is really impressive. It died basically, well, it is dying basically because the street and this wall have been built here. As you can see, the last branch, the last living branch is also not in a pristine condition, only alive on this side. This part here is already completely dead. So the tree is basically hanging by this. The life of the tree is hanging by this little stripe of living bark, of living bark. It's completely hollow. Actually, about 20 years ago, I did climb into the cavity. Let's see if I can show it to you. Well, that's the giant cavity here. Basically, you can comfortably fit a couple people inside. Let's look at it from below. It's also quite difficult to film or to even photograph it properly because it's so constricted by the road and the wall and everything, but let's look at it from this perspective. Beautiful old tree. Yeah, has been dying for over half a century, but is still far from dead. Yeah, you can see how it has been mutilated by being basically built into this wall. This wall was built around it. That's why it's, it looks considerably higher, f uh, taller from here than from the other side. Beautiful old tree. People say that they still collect the chestnuts from the last remaining branch. And that they are still tasty and that they are being eaten uh, every year. The town of Dannenfels is kind of famous for its chestnut groves. There are many... Many chestnut trees around here. There is a chestnut grove in the background, for example. There are many chestnut trees here, which are like almost a meter thick, but none is like this one. This is really by far the biggest, the oldest and thickest chestnut tree in Germany. Really impressive. I've known it for almost 30 years. And yeah, every time the people who have known it say, yeah, we are not going to visit it next year because it's going to be dead for sure. And it's still surviving, I wouldn't say thriving, but it's better than being completely dead. So folks, this was the Dicke Keste, the thick chestnut of Tannenfels. By far the oldest and thickest chestnut in Germany. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful country of Germany. 
and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.